Oh, a cannon. Not even close. Um, I need to see your train tickets. This is war, Mitchell. Take this bad Larry all the way down. Welcome hoarders. Today we're going to be playing some more Gran Turismo Sport. And this episode we should still be on the Endurance Cup series for uh, GR3. Yes. Okay, we're going to be doing the Tokyo Expressway. I ended up going with the BMW M3 um, Group 3 spec because... Well, specifically the 2011 version because, I don't know, it just looks good. I feel like it looks better than some of the other ones. Okay, uh, first thing I want to do is I want to change our um, fuel mixture all the way to lean. Because I think that's going to help us out to already have us at that point. We're already at three quarters of a tank. I think we just start with that much. I don't know why. I didn't quite set my transmission as far apart as I normally would because I knew this track doesn't have really, really long straights on it. I'm really happy with the color of this thing, though. This is such a beautiful car. Like, normally I'm not one for, like, to like BMWs or anything, but... The way I set this one up, I really like it so far. And as long as it can handle good, I'll be very happy. What's that huge antenna in the roof? Must have some serious radio or some crazy shit in this. Okay. I'm only 30 seconds behind first. But to me, that doesn't mean much uh, when he's gaining... Like, he's getting farther away from me right now. That's nice. I hope this car has enough horsepower in it to be able to even, like, do this race legitly. Because I do know uh, the Corvette that I used in the last episode was, like, overkill. I had no issue winning races with that one at all. Um, it is a little bit discouraging, though, that they gained three seconds on me just in that first lap. But 30 seconds isn't a huge gap when you're starting this race in last place. Keep hitting the walls. All I gotta do is make this turn here. Okay, I think this is going to take a while, so I'm going to skip to uh, either when I get in first place or we go for our first pit. Okay, we're catching up to first place. It wasn't actually uh, very difficult to do it. Um, I just listened to music, drove, and all of a sudden, boom, I'm up in the second place. Um, I have been learning the turns a little bit better. I think that's what's helping me out a little, is just knowing what turns I can take a little more speed around. Um, not being this one coming up here, because I don't have very good steering. Just the handling alone is not very good in this car. Uh, so I'm learning some tricks here and there of when to just slam the gas, which it's working. That's all I care about. Um, we could probably do another lap or two, though, until we do a pit stop. Um, seven, 
Oh, we're seven out of 30 laps. So this is gonna be a relatively long race. I think the last race only had 15 laps, 15 or 20 maybe, but it was a much longer course. Question is, is he going in for a pit? No. Either that or he pitted so goddamn fast that I have no idea how he did it. Okay, we're only three and a half seconds behind. This car definitely has some pretty hard suspension. I'm not going to worry about fixing it because after I beat this race, I'm probably never going to use this car again. I might use it on the Nürburgring a couple times just for fun, but nothing very serious like this. I've hit a couple things, just a couple. Uh, nothing to be worried about. Like this turn here, slow down, and then I'll hammer it once I see that those arrows are gone. That's one thing that's been helping me on that spot. Um, and I'll show you the next spot that I've been learning a little bit of uh, when to slam the throttle back on where I'm not gonna lose steering. Now this one I have to kinda let off for a second. Okay, this turn up here where it goes like the spotted lines like right here and then it goes solid. Once it hits spotted again, I can floor it. And that's been doing pretty good for me um, with this specific car. Got a GTR in front of us. Not anymore. <laughs> bitch. Uh, I think I could probably squeeze maybe one more lap out of this. Which I'm going to say... I could definitely squeeze another lap out of this because it's not saying anything right now. You trying to wreck me, boy? Just an all around pretty good car, I must say. Because I did not adjust anything in this other than the transmission. Oh, as I hit a wall. Um, yeah, all I did was change the transmission so uh, the gearing's a little closer together. Because I knew that this track didn't have any very long straight spots. If it was the Nürburgring, I would have kept it up to like 220-ish. Because that last straight stretch, people will destroy you if you're not going fast enough. Okay, got people filling up. I think this, yeah, this lap I'm going to definitely fill up. Because I need it. But we'll be able to do 10 laps every time after this. Because we started with three quarters of a tank. And now we're going to have a full tank at uh, all the way lean. I could hear that rear right wheel squeal just a little bit there. Um, I'm going to be pitting this lap, but I will say I'm having no problems with the tires at all. The tires are holding up very well. Um, I also haven't been abusing the tires too much, which probably is helping. Okay, I'm going to go into the pit lane. medium we might get past but that's not going to be a problem because I'm going to have a lot of time to catch back up oh first place pitted the same time that I did but he has more gas in his tank okay I see and they're running hard tires so they could go longer than I can without changing tires but I, I run out of gas so 
I'm going to go like the same amount of time as them. Ooh, and I got in before... Did first start... First already pitted out. So did second. Holy hell. How did all these people pit so quick? Now I'm 12 seconds behind. I can make that up without a doubt because... Um, they're they're going to run out of fuel pretty quick because they did not fill all the way up. Oh, actually, you know what that is? That's people who pitted laps before us. That's what that is, because the other guy that pitted was still in the pit when I left. Okay, I see. Okay, I guess I'll see you guys when I go to pit again, because this is going to be a while. Okay, I'm going to be pitting this lap now, too. Uh, I It's going to be... I'm going to be hard-pressed to be able to do another lap with the amount of fuel I have. So we're going to go in... Put on our last set of uh, racing tires, and we're going to fill up one more time, and we will be set for this race. Um, I don't even think I'm going to get past during this pit. Well, depending if my car ever comes in. I have a lot of scratches on this one. But this car has been very good to me so far. Haven't really wrecked at all. I've scraped a couple walls. I, I consider wrecking, like... If you hit the grass or something and end up doing a 180 or 360 or something, like where you have no control, that is what I consider a wreck. We're doing pretty good. I'm actually very happy with this car. I was hoping it would be good, and it is. I have to find two more Group 3 spec cars um, to do the last two races, though. I do want to do a German car for the last race because I am on the Nürburgring. I'm not sure what I'm going to use, or at least use a car that was set up on the Nürburgring. Or had some type of, uh, like, lineage of being used there in the past. So, that's going to be a minute. It's probably going to be close to, like, 25 minutes until I'm done with this, uh race so i'm gonna see you guys probably i don't know the 29th or 30th lap somewhere around in there so i will see you then i didn't even realize till just now that we're on the last lap i almost finished a race without even uh realizing that we're done we only have a little bit to go i think we're probably a third of the way done with this lap but we're so far ahead, I don't, it's not even registered. I'm over a minute, I know that much. My wheels are just starting to get worn a bit. You can hear it when I go around the turns, I do this weird, like, back and forth squeaking. I don't know what place this guy was in, but he's definitely behind us. Okay, this should be the final straight. just right up here that wasn't bad at all that one actually went pretty quick I think that's just because it was a very small track like it's not even the long version of the Tokyo Expressway okay four hundred and forty thousand dollars my guy yeah buddy okay let's see what car we won actually before we see what car we won I want to see what track um, I don't remember this one. 
I'm sure I will once I'm on the track. I don't remember what it looks like or the name of it. Okay, what did we win? Of course. The only regular road car that was in here. Well, yay! I got a shitty Toyota. <laughs> that I didn't want that I'm never going to use. That's like a regular um, Sunday Cup car. Okay, I'm not sure what vehicle I'm going to use in the next episode um, at all. Um, I just, I have an idea of what I want to use for the last B-Spec, but I have no idea for this one. Um, but that is probably going to be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. And if you did enjoy the video, check out one of my previous, next, and related videos. And don't forget to check out my social medias in the description down below.